everyone, today I'm going to be reading If I Had Your Vote by Dr. Seuss. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, here we go. If I had your vote, oh the things I could do, oh the things I could do, with a yes vote from you. Now here he is writing. If I had your vote. And if I were in charge, I would make a few changes, some small and some large. There's the picture. He's walking up to the White House. <clears throat> if I had your vote and a fun, fun, fun staff, and not just a staff, but a staff and a half, I would have my fun staff. Fill the fridge with fun foods, like hot dogs and cakes, that make fun-feeling moods. Here it is. <coughs> if I had to vote, I would really prefer this office to be far more over. Thing one and thing two would know just what to do. To square up this room and we oval it through. There's a picture. <clears throat> if I had your vote, I would smile and smile and, and sit very still for a very long while. Oh my gosh. The painters would paint me from morning till night to get every inch of my smile just right. If I had your vote, I would sign all these bills with ink and a pen made from sticky pine quills. These bills would become laws, and those laws with some luck would now and for always say stay stickity stuck. Here he is. Their picture. If I had your vote, I could be on TV with all the of these pointy things pointing at me. Here's the picture. I would be in your house. You could all see my face. You could all see my face even way out in space. So they're in space right now. If I had your vote, I would take all these books and sort them by smell and hook them on hooks. So that all you would need is your nose, beak, or snout to sniff out a title and check a book out. I wonder that what this kind of book is about. Here's the picture. <clears throat> If I had your vote, I would paint this whole place, these cases, these vases, these boots, and their laces, and all these tall walls with their unfunny faces. I think he's gonna mess something. Oh, I think he's gonna mess something up right there. <laughs> But as for this room, I would leave it alone. That hat on his head looks a lot like my own. He's in Abraham Lincoln's room. Isn't there a ghost in there? If I had your vote in these plates and old bowls for fun, I would put them on top of these poles and twirl them and swirl them around and around until they stop spinning and fall to the ground. But no need to panic or worry, you see. The new ones I pick will be perfect for me. As you can see, he has his face on the plates. If I had your vote, I would meet other leaders who happen like me 
to be quite messy eaters. Oh, how would we, oh, oh, how we would eat. We would eat, 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 eat with our scorks and our floons and our hands and our feet. Right there, as you can see, he's eating with his fellow leaders. If I had your vote, I would plant far more flowers and trim these high hedges for hours and hours. Then shower the flowers, shower them, you heard me right, with water I take from this splishy and splashy and fishy free lake. He means fountain. Oh. Then, uh, sh okay. if I had your vote and some almost hatched eggs with shells up on top and the bottom half legs, these long legged legs would not be a batch of eggs you could catch before they, they all hatch. And here it is. There's the picture. I guess they're catching eggs. Thing one and thing two. And Dr. Seuss, <clears throat> if I had your vote, every night in the sky would look like it's 4th of July. Kabooms of all colors, like pink, blue, and red, would spark up the dark in the sky overhead. I don't see pink. I only see red and I only see red and blue. And I guess that's kind of oh no, I just saw it. And right at the end, I would send up a socket, a socket the size of a space shuttle rocket. Kaboom! The socket would soar and kaboom in the sky. Then oh, then socks of all sizes would fall from up high. There it is. All the socks falling. <clears throat> if I had your vote, I could hire a crew, a clean it all crew, that would clean this house through and through. Thing one would wipe windows, thing two would scrub chairs, and little cat A would shampoozle the stairs. There's the picture. Then little cat B, all the way to cat Z, would sweep up every speckle of dirt they could see. With one final touch up from a little cat Q, the not so new house will look newer than new. You can pause the um, video for, to look at the pictures. If I had your vote, this that, that is what I would do. The country would love me, I think. How about you? There he is, walking out of the White House. And...